it's becoming one-sided in a way. Uh, the context is that it appears most of our colleagues are, it's all of attacks, attacks on the NI. I think it's most unfair. And all of you bear me out. For the past four years, we knew where the NIA was. And we know the path they have traversed over the past four years. I can personally testify. A number of times I've been to the head office of the NIA, and at a point in time, they, did not, they could not even boast of one desktop. Today, you can go there for yourself and look at the difference. Also, pry further to adduce budget support and budget contributions that the government has been giving the NIA repeatedly and consistently. So I'm saying simply, we should be careful not to demonize the NIA. And for me, I'm surprised at how the, our colleagues in the minority are alarmed and speaking as if the NIA has committed a crime. Yes, where there are concerns, we need to speak to the concern, but there should be some moderation. Because we know where the NIA is coming from. It cannot be the case that we would demonize the NIA because of normal institutional challenge that you are facing. So one district here and there, there are a few challenges. Let's speak to, to those issues. But we should also refrain from an attempt to demonize the NIA as a, a very important and critical national institution. If we do that, very soon, especially as opinion leaders and, and people who wield influence in various constituencies, if you're not careful, if you're not careful, I'm only cautioning, the NIA officials will go to some districts and people will see them with a certain impression, which will not augur too well for the smooth running of, of, of their job. So I think that all of us should also get involved in the narrative and caution our, our colleagues in the minority that they should be a bit considerate in their criticism of the NIA. Otherwise, we'll end up uh, demonizing this very important institution. This is all I want to say. Thank you.